Access Sacramento presents a special hometown TV broadcast. This program is funded in part by a grant from the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable Television Commission. The City of Galt Teen Commission's Unsung Heroes program on Access Sacramento is also sponsored by the C Street Deli in Galt. Hometown TV is grateful to C Street Deli for its support of television coverage of important community events on Access Sacramento. Welcome to the second annual Teen Perspective Art Exhibit. If you've taken a look at around the room, you've noticed that the youth of Galt have put some amazing stuff up for us to see. Uh, the visual, the tactile, uh, flowers, you name it, the written word. It's uh, quite a sight to see, that, and we know that Galt has a tremendous amount of talent within it. This event is brought to you by the Galt Youth Commission in the city of Galt. And their whole effort tonight is to exhibit how I affect the world. So the notion is that much of the art here today, tonight, is to represent the effects that our individual teens have in the community of, of Galt, and it's getting louder, sorry, and the world. We also have a special element. This is the second one that's happened. This is the second event, second annual event. And tonight we also are going to honor some unsung youth heroes within our community. And these are individuals that exhibit all the characteristics, personality tra traits, and character that we want to have as adults. And they're currently doing it now as the youth in our town. My name is David Herberger. I'm the general manager of the Galt Herald and also a proud member of the community of Galt. And it's my pleasure to be here tonight to uh, be your MC and go through some of these activities. Now the Youth Commission, if you're not aware, is a very busy group here in the community of Galt. And let me give you a notion of what they're up, what they're up to. Their goal is to give voice to our community youth, encourage youth participation in activities that are purposeful in building better citizens, encourage family participation in building civic unity, emphasize diversity by encouraging interaction within the community, collaborate with organizations devoted to the growth of youth, and recognize that it takes all members of the community to sustain change for the betterment of our youth and families. Now this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the critical support of a number of organizations and individuals within Galt. Of course, as I mentioned, the city of Galt is one of those organizations. Cal Waste, the Galt Parks and Rec District, Galt Sunrise Rotary Club, Access Sacramento, everybody wave at the cameras. Hi, Sacramento! Galt Herald, Supervisor Don Natoli, C Street Deli, Grand Advisory Board for Youth, and Robin Scott Peters. Let's give them a round of applause. And of course, I talked about the uh, Galt Youth Commission, um, what they do. But uh, if you're on the commission, would you please stand up? Let's give you a round of applause for all of your efforts. Youth commissioners, I think most of them might be standing. Here we go. Great job. Well, as I said tonight, we have uh, unsung heroes. And these, as I would mentioned, are individuals, young 
individuals in our community that are doing a tremendous job to make Galt a better place. And uh, first up, I would like to introduce Juliet Rodriguez. She's the board chair of the Galt Youth Commission, and she is going to introduce our first youth unsung hero, Evan Sylvie. Hi everyone, thank you for coming out today. Um, my name's Juliet and I'm introducing Evan Sylvie. So Evan is a freshman at Liberty Ranch High School. He is involved with CSF, um, the swim team, and Hawk Productions, and he's very active around campus. Evan is always front and center when it comes to learning new things about video production, and he always tries to get the best, best footage possible. <clears throat> For my nomination of Evan, I wrote, I nominated Evan because I value how hard he works on the Hawk production team. He really takes his work to heart and has a passion for videography. He definitely exceeds the standard and devotes himself to anything he takes on, which he shows through dedication in video production class. He is always filming school events, such as rallies and assemblies, to have original footage for his viewers. He takes time out of his busy schedule to take on these tasks, as well as to do interviews of students at Liberty Ranch High School. Evan believes that students deserve the news show that is the best that it can be, and he has really committed himself to making this a possibility. <clears throat> Evan's friends can always depend on him to be loyal, caring, responsible, and show excellent citizenship. He demonstrates great teamwork, and he always takes on the best task that he can, and always tries to uh, show what he's doing to the community. So Evan, we'd like to thank you for all that you do, and you really make a difference in our community. So if you'd like to come up and receive your, your award. <laughs> All right, next up, we, I'd like to introduce Lupe Flores. She's an, she's an adult mentor for the uh, Galt, Galt uh, Youth Commission, and she is going to introduce William Gasca. Good evening. William Gasca. For his hard work, William Gasca was nominated by his tennis coach, Oscar Rodriguez, for the Unsung Heroes Award. When Coach Rodriguez nominated Will, he wanted to share how Will is constantly putting others before himself. Coach Rodriguez says, Will leads by example and helps his teammates be better athletes. Also, by improving the campus grounds and planting trees to beautify his school. Will, a senior at Liberty Ranch High School, is involved in Liberty Ranch High School football, tennis, and the Boy Scouts. His best qualities are his amazing empathy, loyalty, and the joy he takes in helping others. William's parents knew he was special from the very beginning. Will exemplifies sportsmanship. He is always optimistic, giving encouragement to help increase the skills and talents of his teammates, earning him the Sportsmanship Award on his tennis team. His friends describe him as dedicated, his teammate, Dan Pearson, told us, Will is an excellent athlete and very competitive. Will has done outstanding community service, projects through the Boy Scouts, and continues to work hard to build his community. Will Gasca has a bright future ahead of him, as many of his friends, family, and the community have seen and benefited. We'd like to thank him for his selflessness and his positive impact on those around him. Congratulations, Will. Will you please step forward and accept your award?
this event uh, in Galt uh, brings all sorts of teachers and projects uh, onto television and uh, for this Unsung Heroes, Heroes project. Uh, but one of the projects that's uh, really new and special this year is the floral design project. Uh, and uh, Mandy, tell us a little bit about that. Well, we were invited to join the activity, and of course, we're always excited. Anytime we can exhibit student work and have them have a public audience that demonstrates the knowledge and skills that they're learning. So we offered it to our students, and if they wanted to come after school and design a project that represented how they influence the world or how they're perceived in the world, then they um, made a design and brought it here today. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important art is, uh, you know, uh, so, so tell us kind of how that helps a student grow. Well, in our class, um, students not only are learning about agriculture, because our floral design program is a part of the agriculture department, so about the growing and everything from start to finish, but also the art elements and principles um, that are involved in the designing, so the final product. And so um, for our students, it's, it's about skills and about a start to finish component, but also just a really great way to express themselves in high school, which I think we should encourage in any way that we can. Well, a lot of the amazing art uh, here in Galt is being shared with uh, all sorts of different people. Um, let's get back to uh, the awards. Good evening. My name is Alex. Um, I'll be presenting our next unsung hero, which is Victoria Reller. Victoria was nominated by her soccer coach, Kevin Brown. She was nominated because she is um, very hardworking and does many things for our co community. Uh, her coach noticed that she does many things and wanted to nominate her. Her coach said, Victoria has a heart of gold. She serves the community through her church youth group and so many other ways. Uh, I was surprised when Victoria told me that she was involved in so many clubs. She's involved in FFA, uh, Liberty Ranch Soccer, NHS, CSF, and leadership. And I was surprised because she told me that she was involved in all these clubs and she's always, you know, she's always having a smile on her face and a positive attitude and always willing to help others. No matter what's on her plate, how much is on her plate, she's always helping everybody else. Victoria enjoys playing soccer. She works hard in her practices and works hard every day, practices every day. Unfortunately, early in her season, she suffered an injury and tore her ACL. But Victoria kept going and supporting her team, and that became her role, supporting her team. Victoria came to all the games and practices to support her team, even though she couldn't play. Victoria said that she likes to do what she does for the community because I love helping out and I love being a part of something that's bigger than just myself. Victoria's future plans are to attend Cal Poly and major in business. So Victoria, if you could please come up and accept your award. Good job, Alex, and congratulations, Victoria. Next up, we would like to introduce Amanda Yebra. She is going to introduce our next hero, Brittany Thompson. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm introducing Brittany Thompson, who was nominated by her teacher, Ms. Gorlick. Um, I didn't know Okay, I didn't know um, Brittany before I interviewed her, but what I've heard from her teachers and many people, she's an amazing person, and she loves to help and give back to her community. Brittany Thompson is a senior at Liberty Ranch High School. Um, she's involved in many school activities. She's a kind and respectful student. She participates in ASB. She's the vice president, and she's also president of the FFA. She's also very involved in the community, and she volunteers a lot in the community events. Um, Brittany is really involved because she wants to help her hometown and succeed, and she also wants to be the best person that she can be. Um, she wants to gain confidence in herself and help others reach their goals. 
Um, Brittany is also involved in sports. She's a varsity cheer captain and she's won several cheer awards. Other things that she's done to give back to the community is she was in charge of the canned food drive that was put on at Liberty Ranch High School. She created tie blankets for the Strongest Steel Foundation. She worked at a homeless shelter over holiday break and she delivered cookies to local police and fire stations. Brittany tries to be kind to everyone, meet new people, and learn about others' goals so she can help them achieve their goals. What makes Brittany really stand out is her love for golf, FFA, and leadership. And unfortunately, Brittany could not be with us today because she's at a cheer event, but we would like to accept this award for her, and we thank her for her dedication and contributions to the community. Celebration for the arts in Galt uh, continues, and uh, it's nice to see one of the supporters of the arts overall, and that's uh, Supervisor Don Natoli. Uh, uh, tell, tell me kind of uh, about your support for this particular event here. Well, again, as you can see here, a lot of activity here this evening, uh, young people and their families and uh, members of the community who have come out to see uh, this art exhibit. It's uh, becoming an annual event here, one that I think allows young aspiring artists, but certainly those that wish to express themselves through uh, different uh, forms of art, to uh, have a chance to share that with the broader community. So it really is exciting this evening to see the number of people that are here, talk with some of the artists, and see some of the works. And it's all by young people as well, and that's very powerful. Um, the other part of this program tonight is the unsung heroes, uh, the people who make a difference in their community. Um, it must be nice for you to, to see young people stepping up and, and really making a difference. It really is. I mean, again, you know, the focus is on a team perspective, but I think to know that the young people who will someday be young adults and will be the leaders and adult leaders in our community over time uh, to, I think, get recognized for their work as young people. And I think what it says is that the community has people of all ages from all walks of life, but we need to recognize excellence and accomplishment and contributions, and that's what they're going to do here with the Unsung Heroes. So do you have a, a favorite style? Are you looking at the digital photography or the sculpting or the flowers? What are you, what are you after here tonight? Um, I. Taking it all in, it, it's, it's, it's really fascinating to me. I don't have that much artistic talent to speak of. So to see young people, but people of any age, and some of their works, uh, I'm always fascinated and certainly uh, uh, a bit in awe about how people can be so creative and yet, uh, you know, I think express themselves in a way that others can enjoy that as well. So. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking with us here on Access Sacramento. Uh, the program is uh, underway, and we'll uh, get more of the awards uh, coming up. Juliet Rodriguez is going to pay us another visit. And she is going to introduce our next hero. And this time I'm going to press the thing. Got to press it that way. Rusty Cooley. So Rusty Cooley is an eighth grade student at McCaffrey Middle School. He dedicates himself to any project that he takes on through quiet determination and motivation. And whether it be K-Dog at McCaffrey Middle School or Team Heat, he always exceeds expectations for his tasks. He even takes it upon himself to get to school as early as he can to help make sure that all the technology is set up for that day's news production. He has a passion for spreading new ideas and helping others learn, and his patience and kindness help him tutor other students in math. He is always encouraging and motivates other students to exceed their own expectations and work together as a team. And one of the most admirable things about Rusty is that he works really hard behind the scenes and not always in the spotlight, and that takes a lot of courage. He always focuses on quality of work and getting done the best presentation that he can um, and he'll take extra time to get this done. His compassionate and patient attitude towards people shows his love for people and animals, especially horses. And it is with great pleasure and enthusiasm that McCaffrey Team Heat nominates Rusty Cooley for the Youth Unsung Hero Award of How I Affect the World. So Rusty, if you would please come up and accept your nomination. Next, I would like to introduce uh, the lovely and talented Lisa Klotz, adult mentor for the Youth Committee, who is going to introduce Maisie Myrick Smith. Don't my 
Maisie Myrick Smith was nominated by her great-grandmother, a Rotarian, and her namesake, Maisie Myrick. Human connections are a fluid and elusive thing. Throughout our lifetime, we pass by thousands of people without giving a second thought to who they are, where they've been, or where they're going. One simple interaction can completely change the course of someone's life if we only pay attention to those around us. Childhood should be a carefree time. All too often, what is missing in some children's lives is the chance to just be a child and have fun and to explore the world around them. And in some situations, a child can be a very lonely business. Stressful circumstances tend to, be dom tend to dominate children's lives. Many find it difficult to make friends have trouble with their schoolwork, or feel like they're outsiders because of their experiences. And some children decide not to let their past interfere with their connection with others. They use their experiences to ensure that others are not feeling down and that helping them in times of need. And that's our Maisie. At 16, Maisie begins her day by making breakfast for her two half-sisters and her stepbrother, getting their hair and teeth brushed, getting them off to school on time. And in the evening, Maisie helps them with their homework, puts them to bed, and sings to them. She has so many responsibilities, but she still finds time to participate in CrossFit, wrestling, and choir at Galt High School. She's an always there with a cheerful smile to lend a hand with her friends and family, striving to be sure that no one is left out of the group. Maisie uses the skills she's learned in FFA to help care for her aunt's horses. She continues to work on her grades so that she'll be able to go to college and get a job. Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Women, penned, You have so many extraordinary gifts. How can you expect to lead an, extra uh, an ordinary life? When interviewing Maisie, I felt that this described her perfectly. Maisie Myrick Smith is the type of silent hero, a young girl with an old soul and a good heart. One that will drop everything she's doing to help others and ensure they are not alone at their time of need. Maisie, would you please come and accept this award? So art and unsung heroes uh, proudly on display here in Galt, and uh, that includes some digital art as well. Uh, tell us uh, what your students have been up to. Uh, our students took the assignment, of How I Affect the World, and we tried to take uh, photographs that depicted how each student affects the world. And what is the result? Are you proud of what's happening here? Oh, I'm immensely proud of what's happening because we have a wide range of um, just I photographed the floods as they came in or I, um, my father's eventually a vet and so I help him with his animals. Just a huge range of what um, photography was taken. It must be important for students' work to be seen though. Yes, it's immensely important to not just see it up on the computer screen but to see it actually printed and then to have the public actually see it. It's a, it's a vulnerability to put your art out there but I think that it builds confidence um, and makes them continue to work on their photography skills. Well, it's a, an exciting time for all so, sorts of students, uh, the unsung heroes that are uh, being uh, awarded tonight in Galt. Um, let's get back to those awards. I'm excited. I, I just love the fact that we are uh, given the opportunity to recognize some of the youth in our town. You ready? Olivia? Olivia Klotz. She's the vice chair of the Youth Commission, and she is going to introduce Olivia Nelson. Good evening, and next we have Olivia Nelson, who is nominated by her leadership teacher, Kelly Gorlick. It is not always easy to be kind, particularly when someone or a situation seems difficult. Or you've, had a, or you've had a hard day. 
Olivia does not have this problem. Olivia has a natural ease to lead others as well as bring positivity to her environment around her. Kindness is the most important superpower. Her leadership teacher said, she is always positive and kind to those around her. Any tasks she is given to her, she completes it and does it with ease. Olivia is involved in many clubs at Liberty Ranch, including the National Honor Society, the California Scholarship Federation, and she completes community service activities around our community. Olivia is passionate, passionately committed to both basketball and softball. During the JV basketball season, she took on the responsibility of being a role model and a leader to the freshmen on the team. From personal experience, experience, I see her fun and loving energy radiate throughout the basketball team. She's always the first one on and off the court. Her basketball coach once said, Olivia Nelson poses a rare leadership characteristic which allows her to lead from the front to the rear line. She's able to sacrifice a little of herself to make the people around her better. Olivia strives to be a positive role model to her three younger brothers. Her mother had this to say, Olivia's work ethic and accomplishments have led her brothers to strive to do their best in everything that they do. She shows her love through, uh, for others through service. Olivia describes herself as an outgoing and friendly person. Throughout the years I have known Olivia, and throughout the hardships we have endured playing basketball together, no matter what the problem is, she always, ha she always exudes a positive attitude. Many of her friends describe the energy of her being around. She is a fun person to be around with her positive attitude and loving spirit. Truly, Olivia's superpower is kindness, and her ability as a true leader allows her to accept cr constructive criticism and offer it tactfully with the mindset of improving the quality of any situation or fostering quality relationships between her peers. At this time, I would like to invite Olivia up to the stage and thank her for all the kindness that she spreads. Thank you, Olivia. Next up, we are going to have Paige Sessions introduce Ian Jeffries. Good evening. Ian Jeffries was nominated by Brian Crossan, a youth pastor at Horizon Community Church. Ian is a senior at Liberty Ranch High School where he participates in farm records, learning how to keep online record books and about farm taxes. Parley Pro, a debate team. SWAP, president, a Christian club on campus that helps at school and in the community. And NHS Treasurer, a community and honors group. Ian is very active in the youth group at Horizon Church and has been a part of a number of different outreach programs, including serving the needy, at Salvation Army and building homes for families in Mexico. Ian works with junior high students at Horizon Church helping with games, activities, and outreach events. Ian enjoys volunteering at Horizon Church because it gives the youth a safe place to go where they feel like they belong and can receive spiritual guidance. Ian helped to coordinate the Timmy Strong fundraiser to benefit children at Kaiser Roseville Pediatric Center to provide children with activities while waiting at the center. It is students like Ian who go above and beyond, usually without a spotlight, to make a positive impact on the lives of students that I know will have ripple effects on countless lives in years to come, said Brian Crossan, youth pastor at Horizon Church. Ian plans to attend William Jessup University and become a youth pastor. Ian is honored and thankful to have been nominated as an unsung hero. He believes people able to help should help others in need. It is inspirational to him to have been nominated because change is being noticed. Thank you, Ian, for the extraordinary services you perform. And if you would please come and accept your award.
taking charge of your own life is tough enough, but as a young person to help others be successful is equally as challenging and daunting. And uh, Ian is one of the unsung heroes. So uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your work with uh, the Horizon Pro uh, Project. So I work with the uh, Horizon Community Church Junior High Program. There I basically help students uh, have fun, you know, draw them in as they're just kind of going through life. Junior high is always an awkward time for all of us, I'm sure you guys remember. Uh, so I just kind of provide them with an opportunity to have some fun, um, kind of learn about God and just enjoy being with their uh, you know, friends. And as, a, as a young person, it must actually be you know, a really a, a strong thing for you to know that you're affecting other people. Uh, it's definitely interesting. Um, I, I really appreciate it. I get to see some of these students now that I'm in high school. I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Being able to just see how these students have actually been affected, it helps me know that you know the work that all of us do here isn't just kind of going towards nothing. It's actually benefiting people, whether that be in different vari various community service projects around town, that it's actually going to help. And congratulations on uh, the award, and uh, you know it's uh, all, all the the best to you in all the work that you do. Um, other uh, awardees coming up uh, in uh, the award show. Uh, we'll, we'll be right back. Next up, the lovely and talented Tracy Cross, adult mentor for the Galt Youth Commission, is here to introduce our next hero, Adolfo Gonzalez. Good evening, I also have Jesus Cuevos here with me to translate, so um, he's going to, to help me out. Adolfo is a senior at Galt High School, and I chose Adolfo because he is an exceptional person. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. He works hard at school, and he stays focused. He works outside of school, to help care for his family. Adolfo has a younger brother and sister, and he feels like he needs to be a good role model for them. He often tells his younger siblings that they need to work hard and get good grades. He tells them, respect people. It is not given, it is earned. He is very concerned that they grow up wise and respect others. His mom says that he helps a lot at home and is always doing good things. He is a good example for his brother and sister, and his dad appreciates his hard work and how he helps their family. Adolfo es un estudiante de cuarto año de Gulf High School. Lo elegí porque es una persona excepcional, excepcional. Él trabaja duro en la escuela para ayudar a cuidar a su familia. Adolfo tiene un hermano y una hermana más jóvenes y siente que él necesita ser un buen modelo para ellos. A menudo le dice a sus hermanos menores que necesitan trabajar duro y obtener buenas calificaciones. Él les dice, respetan a la gente, no se da respe respeto, se gana. La preocupa mucho que crezcan sabios y respeten a los demás. Su mamá dice que él ayuda mucho en casa y siempre está haciendo cosas buenas. Y es un buen ejemplo para su hermano y hermana. Su papá aprecia su trabajo duro y como él ayuda a la familia. Adolfo's teacher, Mr. Duncan, that he has a great demeanor and pleasant to be around. He is a hard worker and a goal-oriented individual. He is working almost 40 hours a week to help support his family and cooking in a restaurant along with his full-time schoolwork. He is always positive and willing to help out his peers. He is interested in culinary school as a possible career. He completes his work and in some projects proved that some projects that proved to be more difficult for him, but he finds a way to complete the assignments and turns them in within a timely manner. He will make a positive contribution to any organization in the future of his choosing. It is easy to recommend Adolfo for any consideration in the future. Mr. Duncan. Su profesor, Señor Duncan, dice, Adolfo tiene un gran compartimiento y es agradable estar cerca. Trabaja duro y está orientado hacia un objetivo. Él trabaja casi 40 horas por semana para apoyar su familia, cocinando en un restaurante junto con su trabajo escolar. Siempre es positivo y dispuesto a ayudar a sus compañeros. 
está interesado en una escuela culinari culinaria como carrera. Completando su trabajo y proyectos es más difícil para él, pero se encuentra una forma de completar los trabajos y entregarlos con tiempo. Él va a hacer una contribución positiva a alguna organización en la futura. Another teacher, Mrs. Thompson, said that I completely agree that Adolfo deserves to be recognized for being an exceptional young man. He is the hardest working student that I've had in years. I'm not referring to his classwork only. I'm mainly pointing out the fact that he is working basically full time after school, comes home at night, does his homework, sleeps for a few hours, and then is back again in class on time. He has a very positive attitude in class. He gets along with everyone and helps out my second language learners who sometimes need bilingual assistance. He is a kid who would never leave class without holding the door open for me. I know it might, might be an insignificant detail, but there aren't too many young boys with manners like Adolfo has. It's really a joy to have him in my class, and it humbles me to see what some of my students have to go through at such a young age. Thank you for nominating him, Mrs. Thompson. Dice su profesor, señora Thompson, yo completamente estoy de acuerdo en que Adolfo merece ser reconocido por ser un joven excepcional. Es el estudiante más trabajador que he tenido en años. No habla solamente de su trabajo en clase. Él trabaja mucho después de la escuela, regresa a casa noche, hace su tarea y duerme un poco y es en la clase el próximo día en tiempo. Tiene una actitud positiva en clase. Se lleva bien con todo el mundo y ayuda con mis estudiantes que necesitan ayuda bilingual. Es un joven que nunca deja la clase sin sostenerme la puerta. Sé que es una detalle insignificante, pero no hay muchos jóvenes así como Adolfo. Me gusta tenerlo en mi clase y me humilla a ver que algunos de mis estudiantes hacen tan joven. Gracias para no mirarlo, Mirka. Adolfo likes music, and he's teaching himself to play the accordion. He feels that the accordion is the life of the music. He hopes to take lessons someday and improve his skills. Él gusta la música, y se está enseñando a tocar el acordeón. Él siente que el acordeón es la vida de la música. Él espera tomar lecciones algún día y mejorar sus habilidades. He has worked full time at El Rodeo for the last two years as a cook while attending high school, and he is a good cook. Um, you can try his cooking if you go there at night. It's always packed. It's, uh, it's a busy place, and he works six to seven hours per day and often works um, six to seven days per week, I'm sorry, and um, often works late on school nights. I asked Adolfo, why does he work so hard? He said it's because he has a strong desire to provide for his family. He wants to um, help pay the bills and provide things for his mom that they could not otherwise afford. He has recently purchased a new washer and furniture for his family. He is humble and does not boast about his hard work. He quietly works hard every day. He sometimes gets very tired, but he still goes to work in school. He is often called in to work extra days when someone is sick and his employer can rely on him to be there when they need him. Ha trabajado en tiempo, a tiempo completo en el rodeo por más de dos años como cocinero mientras asistía a la escuela secundaria. Él es un bien cocinero. Puedes probar su cocina si tú vas ahí por la noche. Es un lugar concurrido a la vez. Trabaja seis o siete días por semana. Uh, va a menudo trabaja hasta tarde en las noches escolares. Le pregunté a Adolfo por qué trabaja tan duro. Dijo que es porque tiene un fuerte deseo de proveer para su familia. Él quiere ayudar a pagar las facturas y uh, proporcionar cosas para su mamá que no podían pagar. Recient recientemente ha comprado una nueva, nu nueva lavadora y muebles para su familia. Él es humilde y no se jactan de su trabajo duro. 
Él trabaja en silencio todos los días. A veces se pone muy cansado, pero todavía va al trabajo y la escuela. A menudo es llamado a trabajar días extras cuando alguien está enfermo y su empleador puede confiar en él para estar allí cuando lo necesitan. Adolfo has played two years of football in high school. He's, he was going to be a starter for the Galt High School team this year, but he was not able to play this position because of his work schedule and accommodate his practices and his games, but he still plays as often as he can. His favorite memory of football is the homecoming game. Adolfo ha jugado dos años de fútbol americano. Él iba a ser un abridor para el equipo de Galt High School ese año, pero no fue capaz de jugar ese puesto porque su horario de trabajo no fue capaz de acomodar sus prácticas y juegos. El juego siempre uh, tan a menudo como él puede. Su memoria favorita de fútbol es el juego de regreso a casa. He wants to continue providing for his family and has a strong desire to have a college education and play football in college. He's still figuring out how he can do it all. With so many goals and a strong work ethic, it's been difficult for him to make these tough decisions. Thank you, Adolfo, for being a positive role model for your family and for those who are around you every day. Please come up and receive your award. Um, quiere continuar por proporcionado a su familia y tiene un fuerte deseo de tener una educación universitaria y jugar al fútbol en la universidad. Todavía está imaginando cómo hacerlo todo. Con tantos objetivos y una fuerte ética de trabajo, ha sido difícil para él tomar estas decisiones difíciles. Gracias y ven para recibir tu award. Next up, Lisa Klotz. You're back up again to introduce Alexis Davis. So, Alexis Davis. She was nominated by Mandy Garner um, from the Liberty Ranch Ag Department. Lexi is a senior at Liberty Ranch High School. She enjoys sports and helps coach a variety of youth sports in our community, including soccer and softball. Alexis is very active, forward thinking, and plays a pivotal role in the Liberty Ranch um, FFA chapter. One of the highlights of Alexis's work is her leadership with the blood drive that was held at Liberty Ranch High School. When nominating Alexis, Ms. Gardner shared that she worked with Lexi for all four years that Lexi was involved in the FFA department at Liberty Ranch. She describes Alexis as a driving force behind the community service committee, participating in events such as days of service, an event where service projects are going to each classroom such as making st strong as steel blankets, cookies for policemen, backpacks for children's hospital, purses for women's shelter, stuffed pillowcases for a homeless shelter, emergency contact cards for the Liberty Ranch staff, a food drive, and participating in PALS, which is a mentoring program between the high school and elementary schools. There's many more things that Lexi does, but we didn't have room on the slide to say it. When I interviewed Alexis, she told me, FFA and community services changed me from being timid and shy to being confident. It's easy to recognize that Alexis is an I can kind of person. Others described Alexis as always having a smile that brightened any mood. 
Her consistent, cheerful attitude alone can, be, can cause positive change in any negative situation. After graduation, Alexis is looking forward to going to college and starting a career in the field of nursing. Alexis is surrounded by many people who are proud of her accomplishments and the service that she gives to others. Congratulations on this recognition of being a youth unsung hero. Alexis, could you please come up and receive your award? And you are the coordinator of this, is that correct? I am not, actually. The coordinator is one of our youth, one of our GALD um, youth commissioners. So this is a total youth-run show. Um, I am the subcommittee um, adult mentor, so I'm, I am the um, responsible adult party. So who is the young woman that uh, sort of is the leader of this? And tell us a little about it. Juliet Rodriguez, mm -hmm. and she is the chairman of our youth commission. And she had a fantastic idea that she, um, she wanted to put on an art exhibit for all the youth in the community. She's a very talented artist herself. But we, as a youth commission, um, our goal is really to communicate to the, the community and the teachers and schools and the city council what's happening with youth. And so she and I got together and we talked about how we could get an exhibit to actually communicate back to the community. So what, what motivated this? The, what motivated her to, to, to do that? I mean, do you know what was the, the, the springboard of that? I mean, what She's happened? an artist herself. She's okay. a beautiful artist herself. Mm -hmm. And she communicates quite well through her art. And, and to helping, under, to helping um, young people understand that art is more about a communication style than it is about showing a piece of art. People get very nervous about showing their art and their, oh, it's very private, they feel, and it, they're very nervous about uh, um, putting it out there for other people to see. People think they're judging it. Right. And what we're trying to help the, um, our community of, of students understand is that it's just another form of communication, like talking or singing or writing. Art is just another form of communication, right. one that lets your lets you um, speak in a different voice, but speak just as strongly as you would with words. And if parents want um, art in their younger grades, what could they do, or what should they do? What would you recommend? I would recommend that they advocate at their local schools. I would recommend that they contact their school boards, their principals, their teachers, and their school boards who set the policy to be able to have more art um, involved. I knew in that we used to do an after school art program and that was very, very successful. And that um, sort of dwindled off during the recession when there were a lot of budget cuts. But um, I'm hoping that that will come back now and I'm hoping that events like this show the community just how really important that it is. Great. Lisa, thank you so much. And hey, parents out there, make sure you go and you talk to your city council and your schools and ask them to get some art to the young people. And now we're going to back to the awards show. I would like to welcome Jesus uh, Cuevas back up on stage, the publicity chair of the uh, Galt Youth Commission, to do uh, our next hero, Cruz Cortez. Good evening, I'm Jesus Cuevas here for Cruz Cortez. Buenas noches, mi nombre es Jesús Cuevas, aquí por Cruz Cortez. Aristotle said, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Aristóteles dijo, la excelencia nunca es un accidente. Siempre es el resultado de una gran intención, esfuerzo sincero, y ejecución inteligente. Representa la sabia elección de muchas alternativas. El elección 
No la casualidad determina tu destino. Cruz is the youngest of four brothers. He works for his dad on weekends and is looking for a part-time job to help bring money into the family. Cruz is el menor de cuatro hermanos. Él trabaja por su papá los fines de semana y está buscando un trabajo a tiempo parcial para ayudar a traer dinero a la familia. Cruz understands how important it is to fill his time with positive activity. Cruz entiende cuán importante es llenar su tiempo con actividad positiva. Separating himself from negative peer pressure and influences. Separándose de la presión negativa de los compañeros y las influencias negativas. Working to turn around a negative situation and beginning to do positive things for self-growth and development. Trabajando uh, para dar la vuelta a una situación negativa, empezando a hacer cosas positivas para el autocrecimiento y desarrollo. He's very proud, and should be, to have earned honor roll his first semester at Galt High School. Él es muy orgulloso y debe ser de haber ganado el rol de honor en su primer semestre en Galt High School. Hilda, neighbor and friend, says of Cruz, Cruz is like my grandson. I am proud of how he has not let others influence him. His schoolwork is going well, and now studies German and hopes to learn Chinese. Cruz has come so far. Hilda, vecina y amiga de Cruz, dice, Cruz es como mi nieto. Estoy orgulloso de él, de cómo no ha dejado que otros lo influencien. Su trabajo escolar va bien, y ahora estudia alemán y espera aprender chino. When interviewing Hilda, she had so many good things to say about Cruz, we could not list them all. But, but know that this young man is very special to those around him. Cuando entrevistábamos a Hilda, tenía tantas cosas buenas que decir sobre Cruz, no podíamos enumerarlos todos. Pero sé que este joven es muy especial para los que lo rodean. Cruz stays close to home working on his computer, listening to piano music, and learning more languages, and thinking about learning more languages like Dutch, Norwegian, and Swedish. Maybe one day even having a piano of his own and traveling the countries of the languages he has learned. Cruz se queda cerca de casa trabajando en su computadora, escuchando música de piano y pensando en aprender más idiomas como holandés, noruego y sueco. Tal vez un día incluso tener un piano propio y viajar a los países de los lenguas que ha aprendido. Looking to the future, Cruz has been thinking about his love for an interest in computers and combining his love for languages and technology together. Mirando el futuro, Cruz ha estado pensado en su amor e interés por las computadoras y combinando su amor por los idiomas y la tecnología. We want to recognize Cruz for taking the positive path when standing at a fork in the road, facing critical decisions for his future. Cruz and his mentor, TJ, are working to accomplish community service to give back to the community and benefit others. Queremos reconocer a Cruz por tomar, tomar el camino positivo cuando se enfrenta a una bifurcación en el camino frente de, a decisiones críticas para su futuro. Cruz will not let his past define him. With dedication and the help of true friends and mentors, he will achieve his dreams. Cruz no dejarás que su pasado lo defina. Con dedicación y la ayuda de verdaderas amigos y mentores, lograrás sus sueños. Thank you, and would, Cruz, would you please come up to get your award? What a wonderful uh, cross-section of youth giving their all for our community. Um, finally tonight, we have uh, the Galt Sunrise Rotary Club is going to uh, present Service Above Self, and a cornerstone of Rotary is Service Above Self. It's a simple thing to say, but it's a difficult thing to do. The people, the, the, the youth that we've identified tonight um, fully encapsulate uh, that notion of Service Above Self. Um, all well deserving, but I'm going to introduce Ms. Grace Malson, past president of the Galt Sunrise Rotary Club, to come on up and award the service above self.
to one of our recipients. Come on up, Grace. Don't be shy. As Dave said, I'm Grace Malson, past president of the Gulf Sunrise Rotary. I've been in the Rotary for a little over 10 years now, and I have served in various roles, secretary. I'm currently attendant secretary and treasurer, so that is my role. I want to congratulate the 11 participants uh, who were nominated for this uh, award this evening. All of you uh, looks like you've all do great service to the community and I'm very proud that to be a part of GALT and see the youth participating in a lot of our community activities and being participants in their schools. This award, the Service Above Self Award, um, is also known as the Quiet Rotarian Award and it's given to somebody who works through the community does service above themselves, helps others, and is very adamant and passionate about what they do and what they don't do with their lives. Um, it was very difficult for the Rotarians to pick and choose the individual who is receiving this award. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail because he, he or she has already been given their bio, so to speak. So would Adolfo Gonzalez please come forward and receive the Silent Rotarian Award, Service Above Self. Congratulations, Adolfo. Let's give everybody one more big hand. This has been fantastic. It, let's give a round of applause to the Youth Commission, giving up their time and their toil and their treasure to make this happen. So enjoy. Mingle about. Take a look at the artwork. You want to give it in. And Lisa says, Lisa says, let's get a picture of all the awardees. If they could come up to the stage here, we can get one last picture of all of them. And that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Access Sacramento presents a special hometown TV broadcast. This program is funded in part by a grant from the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable Television Commission. The City of Galt Teen Commission's Unsung Heroes program on Access Sacramento is also sponsored by the C Street Deli in Galt. Hometown TV is grateful to C Street Deli for its support of television coverage of important community events on Access Sacramento. This Access Sacramento Hometown TV event is available for purchase on DVD. For more information, call 916-456-8600, extension 0. <laughs>